Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 35th episode of the series and we have Srinidhi here with us who has been recently placed at Oracle as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He's here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all the students with a CGPA of 6 or 60% in their 10th and 12th and 7 or 70% in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible for this company and now let's go ahead and talk to Srinidhi and understand his experience interviewing for Oracle. Hi Srinidhi, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, yeah, uh, myself Srinidhi Venkatesh but I am from Kolapur, Maharashtra. Uh, I'm currently studying in VIT Velour uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering branch. Okay. Uh, before I move further, I'd like to thank you also. This is not something yes told me, but uh, I've watched a lot of your videos and actually uh, that's why I'm a bit, uh, you know, complacent towards the fact that I wanted to participate in this. So yeah, thank you for this chance also. Okay, that's great. And yeah, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Uh, okay. So the thing is, uh, first of all, Oracle uh, came in two different units. One was CGIU and another was GIU. We had a registration, one registration around the month of like September and all. But the uh, the test that we gave were uh, like same for all the people who were seller who were shortlisted. Okay. So the basic eligibility was uh, seventy seventy seven. But mm -hmm. I guess when the final shortlisting came in, they they I guess segregated by the fact that if you have scored more than eight point five then I guess you got a chance to write the exam. Okay. So our exam was on 20, so our exam was on 29th. Uh, the exam comprised of around 36 questions. If I remember right, I may be wrong a little bit here and there. It had one coding question. Uh, another was, uh, there were multiple, uh, the all other questions were multiple choice question. It had like uh, SQL questions in it, uh, basically really uh, database questions. Hmm. Uh, then uh, your general aptitude questions were there. So once you, once we gave this uh, test after the 36 question, you had 90 or two hours, I guess, mostly. I'm, I can't remember it. Okay. So after this test, uh, in four days, we got a shortlisting. Hmm. Total 72 students got shortlisted, uh, hmm. in which 36 were for dev, 36 were for uh, associate consulting and networks profile. Hmm. So now we had a pre-placement talk once uh, our... 72 people who got shortlisted okay here we had one thing where they specified that each candidate will go through two rounds or at max three rounds hmm. they mentioned that it would be completely based on your communication okay. how you are able to communicate and all hmm. Hmm. so yeah uh, now the thing was uh, since they segregated dev separately then another set of students would be having networks and uh, consulting interviews hmm. Hmm. so in this interview, basically, uh, you were first given, like, it used to depend. Sometimes some people had HR plus technical first, and then they were having pure technical. Hmm. Uh, and other guys were having, like, technical first, then HR and technical. Hmm. Hmm. So, for me, it was like, I went around 8 a.m. Hmm. At 4.30, I got the chance for the interview. Okay. And here, at 4.30, my first round was uh, technical only. Hmm. Hmm. So, I guess... The interview was pretty nice to me. Okay. Uh, he actually made me comfortable. They asked about like uh, introduce yourself. Hmm. Now the questions were pretty much on the fact that uh, you, you are Java. Or uh, then now, since it was networks profile, they asked for computer networks. Okay. Uh, questions based on computer networks. Hmm. Then the questions were from uh, a little bit of Linux also. They asked to hmm. uh, ask for myself hmm. because it was mentioned in JD. Hmm. Then I have a certification. A certification in AWS so they ask cloud computing questions hmm. but the main, main fake, uh, focus was on Java and Oops in the technical round okay. where they grinded multiple concepts like you can say a uh, deep copy shallow copy hmm. or like they, he went in pretty deep in that section hmm. 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 so uh, in Java they went completely deep, uh, deep then he asked about threading and all like what is multi-threading what is single threaded programming language hmm. what's the exact difference between them like there were questions like this and uh, 
majorly what happened was whatever you were communicating hmm. they were trying to go in depth to that suppose i am saying a word that suppose i am using this hmm. xyz framework hmm. he would end up saying okay explain me this framework hmm. so hmm. that's how the interview went it was more or less like a quick round uh, like you right. know that type of a session yeah yeah so one uh, around 45 minutes to one hour that uh, interview went in and honestly mine went pretty well hmm. so he said okay i just asked him about what my role would be and all he asked me if i want to go for the dev also okay i was like yeah i, I would be fine with it because my technical round was pretty solid hmm. so then he said i'll give you a feedback uh, i'll give the feedback to other guys and uh, i'll let you know within 5 minutes only they called me for the uh, hr plus technical round okay here they actually discussed about my resume hmm or what are my internships what hmm. are my projects hmm. and then he went on like after 15 minutes of discussion about my resume he went on to ask questions like uh, stock market or uh, questions like there is war going in israel and uh, hmm. uh, iran what would be your uh, what 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 is your stance in it hmm. do you want the war to stop and all hmm. like hmm. he just wanted to test me on uh, how my ethics are or okay. anything like that hmm. Hmm. so yeah uh, that's it and after second round uh, i was not called again hmm. the thing was they were pretty much uh, happy i guess with the performance hmm. now the thing is with other students here almost all the guys gave 3 to 4 rounds okay so oracle uh, needed the people who were able to communicate better hmm. uh, and if they were satisfied they wouldn't call you again hmm. else it was like uh, they were continuously eliminating students one hmm. by one by one hmm. so mostly students used to have two technical one hr and sometimes some guys even had three technical okay. and one hr so hmm. they actually wanted to shortlist around seven from networks and consulting hmm. and seven from a uh, six from dev okay. so, so eventually 13 students got uh, finalized there okay so you finally got into network right uh actually i am still I, we haven't received any okay. offer letter okay 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 uh, so Total... i am not sure what my hmm. role hmm total 13 names were there in yeah. the final list okay yeah, 13 names Okay, okay. That's great. Congratulations again, and thank you. thank you so much for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you want to share that you learned based on your experience? Okay, so first of all, uh, say whatever everyone says. Focus on your academics. Hmm. Like this is the most important. Like VIT is one of those universities which has lot of students. Hmm. Like there will be four campuses which would be competing for the same job. Hmm. so trust me uh, you have to have a cgpa at least about 8.5 hmm. right like, below that what happens is you are fi- you will be having like lot of candidates who will be doing so it's better to have a good cgpa hmm. uh, apart from academics now the thing was my 10th and 12th scores were a bit lower end like hmm. below 80 hmm. so even that can become a deterrent factor hmm. Hmm. so if someone has that factor you have to make sure that whichever chance you get you have to be like optimize like you have to give your best in it mm-hmm. this was my first ever interview like after 4 months and all mm-hmm. of placement so i would say you have to give your best and the thing is you will get chances it's not that you will not get chances right but what we see is the number of chances gets a bit low low mm-hmm. uh, and apart from academics which probably again 10 and 12 is not in our hand right now but focus on your cgpa right mm-hmm. now uh, in terms of skills every company wants aptitude hmm. uh, i haven't been in a single uh, test where they haven't asked aptitude except google or like hmm. a big very very hmm. big hmm. product based company hmm. everyone asks aptitude hmm. so if you might be weak in dsa but uh, a company that hires for analyst and all they don't even ask coding hmm. Hmm. so be good in aptitude second i would say you have to be like at least have little bit of dsa like it's fine if you don't want to go till graphs hmm. or uh, dp and all at least you need to know till heap or i would say at least has said you are able to solve medium level lead code hmm, questions hmm, because right. uh, in interview suppose in interview you will get a question about dsa if you want to go in a product based company like correct. oracle or any one of them correct hmm. so if you want like a if you are targeting anything about 10 lakh hmm. you need to know medium level lead code at least hmm. uh, the third and i guess the most underrated one is some people here are very good at coding mm. they have very good projects and all mm-hmm. but they can't communicate uh, now the thing is you got to communicate uh, if the interviewer doesn't get what you are trying to say then surely he won't consider mm. you in future mm. Mm. so you have to be good at communication make sure that you are able to like 
tell what you know hmm. because that's the most important part hmm. i know a guy who was very smart but he he is unable to crack interviews right now hmm. because hmm. he's a bit shy when he communicates with others hmm. you got to improve on that hmm. then if you are someone in second year or even third year hmm. try to make sure you have some internship or projects hmm. because that way uh, interviewer won't deep dive into everything you hmm. you'd have you'd waste some time here and there hmm. on your internship what you did there or what you did in your project i had one research paper i done three internships so the thing was a lot of my conversation went in that uh, hmm. area hmm. Hmm. so this way you can stay in your comfort zone right. and you will be able to excel hmm hmm so yeah that's it uh, be strong in your communication aptitude and dsa at least medium hmm. at least medium if you are targeting big hmm yeah that's it. Okay. that's what it's okay that's great thank you so much for all your suggestions and for sharing your experience i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank, thank you. you so much Thank you all for watching please do like share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next